the latest in the land of prospects? Find out next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Saturday, April 27th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White, the top five prospects on the verge of getting the call. Junior Cavanero of the Rays, Paul Skeens of the Pirates, Max Meyer of the Marlins, Christian Scott of the Mets, and Joey Loperfito of the Astros. Worth mentioning, we're recording this on Thursday night. Junior Cavanero apparently left with an injury. We'll have to see what happens from there. But Scott, the one mm-hmm. I wanted to ask you about is Christian Scott, who is coming off his first quality start of the season at AAA. It was six and a third innings, two runs allowed, eight strikeouts, a 14% swinging strike rate on the season. The Mets have made some noise this year, and it feels like they could use Christian Scott at some point, maybe some point soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if Jose Budo comes back down to earth and his last start wasn't great, uh, he has another one over the weekend. Uh, but if, if that happens, I, I mean, Scott, I would have to think is next in line. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's already 24. He turns 25 this year. He's pitching a triple a, he's pitching well, uh, strikeout rate, swinging strike rate. They're amazing. The walk rate as well. The, the one knock on Christian Scott, maybe the reason why he isn't up yet is he's allowed a lot of home runs, high fly ball rates, and that's against triple a hitters. So it's a problem, but it's, it's not unlike what we've seen. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess if, if we're talking about what I expect from Christian Scott, what I think he could be for fantasy purposes, it's it's a similar profile to um, Shota Imanaga, not in terms of like the exact pitch selection, but strikeouts to walks to home runs. I think that that the ratio across the board there will be very similar, uh, which could mean an ERA in the mid-threes, but the other numbers would be good enough that uh, we don't mind it so much. So we'll see if he can get the home runs under control, but I, I think it's really just a matter of the Mets having another rotation opening or maybe giving up on one of the guys who's already in there for us to see Christian Scott. I do want to note a couple other things on my five on the verge here. Uh, Paul Skeens, his first four starts were all about three innings in length. The pitch count was going up, but it was right around three innings each time. Four and a third is what his last start was, and he got up over 70 pitches for the first time. So... The ramp up continues for Paul Skeens. I think we could see him top 80, maybe five innings next time. And once that happens, it could be any day, any day till Skeens comes up. It may be that the Pirates are waiting until the the, the Super 2 cutoff, the presumed Super 2 cutoff in, in June. But maybe not, because Paul Skeens is untouchable at AAA and really doesn't seem like he has anything to gain there other than just building up to a starter's workload. Uh, Max Meyer, I wanted to mention for him that so far the Marlins have felt, followed through on their plan of, of three inning starts once a week to preserve his workload for later in the season. But AJ Puck just went on the IL and they say he's not coming back to the rotation and I have no idea who their fifth starter is right now. Maybe it's Rodery Munoz who we saw make a start Last week, I would guess so. I would guess that's the direction they turn. But there, there is not much margin there if if something else goes wrong in the rotation. So I don't know that Meyer, Max Meyer, is going to be in the minors for long, and they're going to be able to stick with that three inning plan for long. Five prospects on the periphery. These are prospects just doing something of note as of late. And Kyle Manzardo of the Guardians, Orelvis Martinez of the Blue Jays. Cam Collier of the Reds, Ralphie Velasquez of the Guardians, and Winston Santos of the Rangers. Scott, Kyle Manzardo and Aurelvis Martinez, these are well-known names and both are turning up recently in the minors. Yeah, and I don't like to treat my five on the periphery as overflow for my five on the verge, but sometimes that's what it becomes. It just feels like there's more prospects worth stashing than can fit in a group of five right now. In Manzardo and Orelvis Martinez, they would certainly be among the top 10 prospects to stash because I think either of them could be up any day. They're both on power binges right now. Uh, Manzardo, of course, a lot of us thought he'd win an opening day job with the Guardians. They've, they've kind of had this revolving door of nobodies at DH, but they're off to a great start, and I don't think they want to squander it. Manzardo uh, could 
be a, a game changer for them at that position. Um, and so, uh, you know, worth worth looking into if you have a spot to play with. And then Orelvis Martinez uh, has been talked about in prospect circles for a long time, the power in particular standing out. But power is playing up like crazy at AAA. He had a 469 foot grand slam about a week ago. That ball was hit 113.8 miles per hour. He's hit a ball 115.2 miles per hour this year, which is an exit velocity only topped by five major leaguers so far in 2024. And, you know, all the home runs, basically all the home runs where Elvis Martinez has hit have been just absolute tanks like that. Uh, So we're talking transcendent power from this guy. He is playing mostly second base at AAA, but he's played third base and shortstop in the past. Second base and third base are the positions where the Blue Jays really don't have a lot happening offensively. So they could use Orelvis Martinez at either one. And I think that will, that, that could happen sooner than later. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again next week. Bye-bye. 